I see that this was taken back in the early 1920s. This Inuit women's parka, made of caribou skin, is over a century old, adorned with brass buttons and a king's coronation medallion. King George and Queen Mary, 1911. It tells a story of first contact between Inuit and traders. But if people from Nunavut want to see it, they need to travel more than 2,000 kilometers to the Museum of Nature's campus in Gatineau, Quebec. That's where more than 200,000 Inuit artifacts are being preserved. We need to showcase these. We need to have them out. Nunavut is alone in Canada without a heritage centre. William Beveridge is leading efforts to get one built in Iqaluit. Losing some of our cultural identity has been very difficult in Nunavut. This heritage centre will help, but we don't want to wait. We need to make this happen now. The proposed facility would serve to preserve and showcase the ways Inuit once lived. And what is this piece right here? like these snow goggles made of ivory walrus tusk protection from sunlight and snow and this ivory fishing lure. Sakiasi Saudwapik is from Pangnakto, Nunavut. Sentiments echoed by students. It's also a way of decolonizing for our culture and our people, is to reclaim what was always ours. But funding is a major barrier. The Inuit Heritage Trust says it will cost $150 million. So far, $15 million has been secured. We have so much infrastructure gaps. But it is a priority for the Department of Culture and Heritage. But Beveridge says Inuit can't wait any longer as more and more elders pass away. Be proud of ourselves to know where we come from. Juanita Taylor, CBC News, Gatineau, Quebec.